Hello guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the error. There was a problem starting when SCOM RSSRV.dll, the specified module, could not be found. So this error comes up because the DLL is not a recognized library. Maybe this error is from some leftover malware that was removed from your PC and stuff like that. So um, normally you would need to delete all the references to that DLL file from the startup, but using the basic method of right-clicking the taskbar and then going to task manager and then more details and then startup. Here you won't see all the software. Task manager doesn't have access to everything here. So in the description down below, you're gonna have a link to a free utility that you can download and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So this is the link that you're gonna have in the description. Just go in the description and click on it. As you can see, it is the official Microsoft website, so you don't have to worry about anything. Then I'm going to click on download autoruns and autoruns C, and then I'm going to save it to my desktop very easily. And after the security scan is done, I can close down the browser. So I have here the utility that I've downloaded from the Microsoft website. Right click on it, and then I'm going to go to extract all and then extract, and it is going to be extracted to my desktop. I'm going to double click on it, and here I'm going to open the or runs the main application and, and then click on agree. So as you can see here, you have all the auto runs from this operating system. What you have to do, you can see here that you, we are on the everything tab. If you have uh, many programs installed, this list will be much bigger, but in my case, it is not. In this list, you're gonna have to locate that DLL file. You can even filter, you can type in here the DLL file, and you can see all the files that are, are related to that. And when you find your DLL file, just right click on it and then click on delete. And all the references to that file or DLL file will be deleted and you won't get that error with that DLL anymore. So this is a very quick tutorial, but I'm hoping that it will be useful to you. Don't forget this utility you can download from the official Microsoft website. You're gonna have the link down below in the description. So if this video was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with a notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.